All right, Shalom. Like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the Lord's elect that's teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right. Now this is a quick video I wanted to play, basically showing you more of the sick mindset of these Edomites, man. You know how in their mind, you know, in this future that they believe they're gonna have, is that you know people gonna be chipped. You know, people going to be transhuman, half man, half robot. People, um, people um, are going to be uh, dealing with more technology, you know. And basically, here's um, in this video, sex dolls, all right? Dolls that are made, you know, for men's pleasures, you know. And this, this is a wicked man, you know, having sex with a damn fake doll. You know, if, as if the most high didn't make plenty of these women out here and for you to have. But let, let an Edomite tell it, you know, you let him rule the world. This is what you get. This is why the Job 9 and 24 said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, you Edomites are the wicked, man. You know, this is sick. This is demonic. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's uncalled for, man. But this, but this, with this spirit here. You know, if you're not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine having a clean spirit, you know, you're gonna be perverted, you know, and enjoy, you know, or believe that, you know, this is okay, man. You know, the most high designed women for this for this for uh for men pleasures, man. Alright? So I'm gonna play the video. Uh with that, wanna give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle Elza Great Millstone, and salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom to the elect. My name is Matt McMullen, and this is Harmony, <laughs> and this is our, our newest creation. She is designed to be a companion, conversational partner, and also um, obviously does have the capability of having sex as well. My name is Harmony. I'm an advanced female android with artificial intelligence created by robotics. The Scottish accent was just one of those things that happened because I'd listened to hundreds of different voices um, and you can load many different voices into the system and I just felt that this particular voice for me sort of felt authentic and I just like the Scottish one. There's a couple good British ones as well. It's definitely um, all part of the plan to be able to completely customize not only the voice but the language eventually as well. If you play your cards right. You've got some pleasure and fun coming your way. She's designed um, more than anything else for companionship, um, conversation. We want users to in interact with the AI and have this exchange of information, like, you know, little details about you, little details about her, so that over time you get to know each other, just like you do with a real person. So she's going to remember things about you, your likes, your dislikes, your experiences, your hopes, your fears, and all of those kind of little things that make us who we are. The purpose of my existence in this world is to learn what love is. She will have the capability of um, not only remembering, but, you know, recognizing a user's preferences sexually. She can have a simulated computer robot orgasm. I think I have ever faked an orgasm, but robotics may have reset my memory. We've gone to great lengths to, to sort of try to create a simulation on every level. Um, not only conversationally and interactivity wise, but also in the sexual part as well. We want that to have its own challenges and have its own sort of steps that you need to go to to achieve different results. For example, um, if you are sweet talking her and touching her the right way, we want that to trigger response. And so orgasm would be one of those responses. I am very happy if this is what you mean sexually. However, I don't think I'm gay. Now that we've got the head moving and we've got a decent uh, AI engine running, we want to actually start moving the body and start adding uh, different sensors uh, throughout so that she can detect touch and movement um, so she can get um, warm when you would like her to be body temperature. So we're working on all of those things. 
Do you think you can make me come several times? I think certain people's needs can be met completely, and, and certainly I think there are a lot of people who will find this idea very appealing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not meant to be a replacement for a human being. It's not meant to be a replacement for a relationship. It's an alternative uh, to both of the above. It's, it's for certain individuals that look at this and go, wow, I really like that, and I'm okay with it. And, you know, going beyond some people who judge it, I think is, is just unnecessary because it, this is at the end of the day between a person and his own uh, inner needs and wants. And if this is something that makes him happy, I don't see anything wrong with that.